Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lissa. So today we're going to be making smothered breakfast burritos. So um, for this recipe, you will need green onion, uh, eggs. I'm only using three because I'm making uh, just one burrito, but obviously you can cook as much for however many burritos you're making. You need cilantro, um, some type of breakfast sausage. I mean, you can put whatever kind of meat you want in a burrito, but I'm using breakfast sausage. Bacon, tater tots or fries. Uh, you can use the um, home fries, whatever, but some type of potato. Um, jalapenos some type of canned cheese, um, crushed garlic, crushed red pepper, um, burrito size tortillas, some type of cheese. It does not have to be this kind. You can use whatever kind you want, but you need some type of shredded cheese to go inside the burrito. And then um, seasoning salt. Anyway, let's move on to the next step. All right, so for the first step, go ahead and fry up about a cup of um, your tater tots or french fries or whatever potato you choose. And um, we're going to sit that to the side, and you can go ahead and sprinkle some seasoning salt or whatever seasonings you want to put on Next it. step, go ahead and fry up about four strips of bacon. We're going to use this as um, our bacon bit. So go ahead and... Um, get these nice and crispy and then we're going to chop them up all right so for the next step we're going to turn our heat up to about medium high and then i am going to add in um some crushed garlic you can put as much of that as you want it's your business some green onion you can put as much of that as you want to and some jalapeno. I like jalapeno. Going for a lot. And then this is gone. Cook that up. And I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning salt. And I cook this. We're gonna take our um tater tot. and just toss that up. And then I chopped up our bacon and I'm gonna add help of the chopped bacon. And we're just gonna cook this until the peppers are cooked down. Next step, melt about a tablespoon worth of um, margarine or butter, or you can use oil in your skillet. And then we're going to go ahead and crack our three eggs. Again, depending on how many burritos you're making, you can use more or less eggs. This is just going to be one big burrito. So, I got our heat on um, medium high still. So, I'm just kind of breaking up. Yolk. And what we're gonna do is just let this egg fry. And I'm gonna come back when it's fried up and show y'all the All next right, step. So our egg has been cooking for about um, 20 seconds. Um, off camera, I went ahead and sprinkled a little bit of seasoning salt and black pepper on it. So um, I'm just gonna spread out the egg that's not cooked so you can cook evenly. And you do not want to do this fast, like, so make sure that your um, skillet is not too hot when you do this. And so the next step, I'm going to take some of my cheese. And you can add as much cheese to this as you want. I like a lot of cheese. I'm gonna put a little bit more black pepper on here. I like black pepper. And then all we're gonna do is just fold this. Uh oh, that's okay. Fold 
it like that. And then gonna um, sit it on a plate. And we're gonna move on to the next step. So for the next step, I just went ahead and um, fry up about a uh, half a cup of our pork sausage. And um, I'm not adding anything to this. I'm just frying it up and we're going to set it to the side. And last but not least, I'm just go ahead and fry up our uh, tortilla. And then we can just move on to the um, construction of our burrito. All right, so now we can build our burrito. So I wanted to make a bigger burrito. So I went ahead and fried up one more tortilla so I can get some more width and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put our potatoes on here. That might be too much. All right, anyway. Then we're gonna put our omelet. And the reason I made it into an omelet is so that there's not so much stuff falling all over the place. And I want the cheese to kind of like ooze out and then we're gonna add some of our um, our sausage. And then you can add anything else. If you like avocado, onions, more peppers, anything you can add right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and um, put some salsa on here. All right. And now we're gonna just Fold it in on the sides and press it. And then bring it up. At this point, I like to support with my thumbs right here and then press in and push it down. All right. You wanna be really firm with this so everything don't just fall everywhere. And just roll it over like that. And now you got your burrito. And I left my skillet on Oh, if I can, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the skillet. And I'm going to just fry this up to seal it. And then that'll be the end of that. Okay, so basically, just lay the um, burrito closed side down in the skillet and let it cook for about 10 seconds. And then if you want, you can toast it on each side. All right, so for our um, cheese sauce, I use Rico's. I like Rico's because it's not like hella tangy like some um, cheese sauce be. Um, but you can use whatever cheese sauce you want to use. It is up to you. But just go ahead and pour that in the skillet or pot or whatever. And I'm gonna put like a half a cup of water in the can. Swirl that around a little bit. All right. So the cheese sauce is really already done, but I'm gonna just um, make it my own and add a little bit of to it so what we're gonna do is add the remainder of that bacon that we cut up and then this is optional you don't have to but i like cilantro in my cheese sauce so i'm not cutting this up in any particular way i'm just gonna put some in now and then um i like spicy cheese sauce so that's why I told y'all y'all needed some red pepper. You do not have to put red pepper, but if you want it this way, put some in there. And then just heat this up till it's melted. And that is your cheese sauce. All right, we're gonna move on to the next step and I'm gonna show y'all the end result. So our burrito is done. I went ahead and cut it open so y'all can see the inside. And now we're gonna just go ahead and smother it with our sauce. And push it to the middle.
And this is a really big burrito, but you can really make like two or three burritos with this amount that I used. But anyway, this is the end result of our smothered breakfast burrito. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for watching Cooking with Lisa.